What's up, dashing guy? In this video, video, I will be reviewing BIQ. So BIQ is a content optimization tool that will help you to optimize your content for SEO. So that's a little bit, a little bit overview about it. Let's jump right into it. By the way, if you don't want to watch this presentation, directly jump into the demo. Then the timestamp will be given in the YouTube player below. So click the, uh, you know, timestamp and you will be able to go above. So let's start our BIQ review. Basically, as explained earlier, BIQ is a content optimization tool that will help you to optimize your content for SEO. This is the alternative of software SEO phrase, market moves, etc. etc. So if I talk about overview of it, then uh, the first feature there, the BIQ entire tool is, uh, you know, breaking down into four modules. The first is keyword intelligence. This is a uh, keyword research tool like HRF or any other tool. So here you will be able to do a keyword research. Then you will be able to write content using content intelligence by checking out the emotion according to the AI. As well as they will give you some certain keyword that will help you to optimize your content for TIDF SEO. Then there is something called Rank Intelligence that's something like HRF Site Explorer where you can go in and check how you can rank your site a little bit. Not that much advanced. Basically, it's a shit rom, according to me. I don't know, like that feature. So let's skip this. So we are having rank tracker, content intelligence, and keyword intelligence tool. So if I talk about BIQ pricing, then BIQ pricing is 49 bucks only. It's a lifetime deal currently running on AppSumo. So it's on you if you wanna, uh, if you are watching this video, you know, after the deal is ended, then you can go ahead and uh, sign up for their free account as well. They are also offering a free account. They did not mention any kind of what you will get in free account, but yeah. So you can try out if you are a non AppSumo user before purchasing it. So let's start. So as of now on AppSumo.com, they are on, uh, you can strike up to five codes. So what those five codes would be? The first code you will get keyword intelligence. Like, as I told you, they, they are basically tracked into four parts. So they are increasing your limit as per you can go. So you can pause this video and check it out if you are interested. If I talk about some basic alternatives of BIQ, then uh, HRF is a good alternative. That's uh, uh, they are not alternative actually. HRF is a much more advanced tool and they're charging $99 a month. Where BAQ is only fifty dollars, so and they are also not any you know competition. SM Russian BAQ is having this much, not this much difference. So um, I know my green screen sucks. So let's continue. And if I talk about Surfer, then you can say yeah, yeah, it's a good alternative of Surfer, Page Optimizer Pro, and Phrase. So that's all about my little quick presentation. So that's all about my little quick presentation. And let's jump into the BIQ demo, right? So let me close this site and let's continue. So first of all, you will get a feature called keyword SEO keyword. So currently, uh, you know, I was an SEO before jumping into lifetime deal space and I did created many good Amazon sites. So this is one of the sites that I sold. Don't let the site owner know. <laughs> so by the way, we do not have any kind of a disclosure agreement. So that's why I'm showcasing this site. So I sold this particular site and I wrote this entire content. So uh, I just want to check out my SEO strategy. So this is why one of the content that I published, I think last year at this particular moment, I think 16 or 17 January and currently it's going February 19. So I am able to see any date. So published. Yeah, it's published on 17 January. Wow. What a good memory you're having, Sharaj. So let me quickly go in and see if this web, uh, how I can rank for this keyword. And I will be like, this is a content creation tool. So, you know, I will be demonstrating everything around this particular tool. Like I will be using this particular article to showcase every particular tool. Like I will be using this particular article to showcase every single thing. So what they said, so they said no, I don't know why, but uh, I'm using it, uh, I think, from one or two days, and it's a little bit slow for this review purpose. So let's wait for that, if that works or not. So let's jump uh, right click, uh, jump into content intelligence phase. So let's, OK, so it happened. OK. So in content ideas, they are giving you what kind of content area. Like you can say, now you need to put your own bread into it because the content ideas are not as much relevant as I was expecting. As you can see, Amazon Explorer, uh, uh, warehouse, Amazon warehouse, 
I don't know what, but uh, they are having many um, not satisfying answers over here. And as you can see, card loads, etc., etc. So I'm not looking into that particular field. Yeah, JT Splat Master is something they can follow. Okay. Uh, paintball gun. So counter idea not good. Maybe the volume of this keyword is not that much good. Total search volume is that not much. Volume of this keyword is not that much good. Total search volume is that not much, buddy. This very low. So content ideas are not good and no relevant keyword. So so let me enter another keyword because uh, this key when I started uh, ranking on this keyword, I saw that there were no good keyword so this was one of the most popular keyword in paintball niche so let's see if i got it or not so meanwhile let's check out the content intelligence tool so content intelligence tool is nothing but where you can uh, write your article or put your article into analyze it's uh, basically optimized for seo or not maybe it's optimized for seo or not so how you can check that so as you can see uh, i put my uh, url in and they imported all the content and they give it a, a grade Nice job, buddy. You did it. You are passing current SEO with your one year old article. So let's start. So currently, if you can see, are you okay? Are you struggling to find the best paintball goal so that you okay? Please, they said for relevance, it's optimized, but uh, they said this analytical. So they give junior high school student can read it. Then I'm gonna guess what? No tune. Nursery school can read it. A few weeks ago, my best friend, my my friend Daniel, was in this same situation. Daniel had has an 11 year old kid, who, 11 year old kid, who is highly passionate about outdoor games, especially specifically, I not specifically paintball. So you know, uh, I have to do little changes. They said there is a little joy, and they, how this is optimized for that, and they are giving like these are the phrases that you need to optimize. So currently, at that time, I used, you know, at that time, I used to this all do all this work manually. So I think I do not have that phrase. So what basically they are telling me, you need to uh, make most spring powered paintball guns. I mentioned spring powered paintball guns, I guess. So if I mention that my content relevancy will go up. So let's see where I wrote spring powered paintballs. So I don't, don't, I have not written this anywhere. So if I uh, wrote this particular keyword, this is a very important keyword for ranking and typical, uh, total typical uses of keyword is one to two users, right? So uh, they also give me example, how can I write that particular keyword in here so that this will improve my content optimization. Then uh, they all, will also give me more and more suggestions like spring powered paintball guns. I have not mentioned that as well. JT Splat Master guns. Yeah, I mentioned, have not mentioned, right? So few keywords are mentioned, few are not. So they are giving me some words that I can implement in. And if I talk about word count, your total word count, uh, like your word counts are, like they are giving me rating and heading, I am having full rating and average links, I am a little bit low. Because I was only linking to Amazon site because I did want to maximize the conversion rate on this particular blog site. So readability is B. The fund score is zero. This is the overall score based on your content performance, 47. Bad job, buddy. <laughs> then your overall word vector score is 51. That's a neutral, not that much bad. And so how can I improve that? So they are giving me these sections are not relevant. So you can remove this. Yeah, I can even also I'm paying already. So I can remove this section. So what this will do is this will help me to improve the content. And they are giving me very good optimization recommendations and fundamentals. Decorate your keyword to improve reading experience, right? If I want to improve fundamental, then good things are here, 11 things are bad. And here I'm having 56, 31 things good. So I need to fix this particular thing. I not, I, I will not fix it. The site owner need to fix this thing, okay? Then the word scope, not bad. Then you can export the PDF if you wanna have then to add this particular thing. So as you can say, they are giving me a tune. So that's about the content intelligence tool. Let me go to back to the old document. So I'm having one document over here, start a podcast. So I have not done that much on it. So I deleted it in the end. So I'm not having that. So if I go to the next tab, 
So in the BIQ cloud, you can see related keyword, the content ideas for this particular phrase, best paintball guns, as you can see, no content performance keyword is still that paintball guns. So I have not entered at that time. Yeah. So I enter, I have not done an enter. So like quickly give me a second. So as I'm able to see, like able to see, like this feature is not working. So BAQ team need to fix this particular thing because keyword intelligence keyword is not working. And if the if I talk about the rank intelligence feature, let go in me go into that. So why I need to create a profile? I I'm already having a profile over here. Yeah, success profile. Yeah. So you can create a. I have created two profiles. I don't know why I did that. So you can create profiles. So let me open this one. Like which profile was that? So yeah. So if I talk about the content intelligence feature, so that is not working as of now. I don't know why it's not working. But when I entered some keyword, it's not working. So let send a podcast tell if we can. Otherwise, I will give it a bank zero and we can continue to that. So worked out, worked out. Okay. So when I entered a keyword podcast, so they are giving me some recommendations like podcast for business leader, podcast online, best podcasts. So how to start start a podcast? So let me enter the separate keyword that start a podcast. Let's see if that works out. Mm, it's a little bit loading. Yeah, start a podcast. How to start a podcast business? Start cast on YouTube, on Spotify, on iTunes, on WikiHow. If you need to start. Equipment needed to start a podcast. How to start a red podcast on Reddit? Does a pod? Oh, so they are having very good informational topics that I really love. If I uh, go into the podcasting niche, I will definitely consider few of them. Like for uh, where you, can you see who listen to your podcast on Spotify? Some good keywords, but they are the value. They are also giving a value metric over here. So wow. So you can check out the value metric and start doing into it. So let me go into content ideas. So in content idea, they will give me some content idea that I can produce. So this is their description. So let me go into that. To that. So yeah. So they are having some good content ideas that are not that much good as for me. Uh, podcast microphone, podcast episodes is a good one. Podcast recording software, podcast recording equipment, quality Zoom handy one recorder review maybe. Yeah. And they also showcasing the intent, but uh, what is podcast microphone? This is the informational content, or you can say a commercial content because someone is looking for a podcasting microphone. So they need to fix this thing, and this is not working. And if we talk about pod pooler questions that we can do, how much it cost to run a podcast? Right? Wow, hundred dollar. Wow. Uh, what equipment you need? Can you make money with a podcast? Can you start a podcast by yourself? You're starting a podcast, you know, you can get some very good questions over here. So it's working. I don't know why it's not working. I don't know why it's not worked on that particular keyword phrase. So now we can go into this content trending search feature. So in the, in the same the same feature the same keywords a little bit changed so this is all about the content intelligence tool i'm not that much happy with it because it does not work well and at that time i'm not seeing some of the things so i will give it to 10 out of 5 and for content intelligence tool i will give them 10 out of 8 right so now let me jump into the uh, rank intelligence tool and this is a and down i give a big down because they do not have anything to showcase right so I added Edward suit review. They are giving me CPC, volume, etc. So I'm not happy with the content intelligence because they give you some competition, CPC metrics. Then you can see some related searches, ads, you know, what is this of features, features. So you can look into it. Yeah, if you are doing this up manual, then it will be better good off. So using this particular tool because they're not offering you many variety metrics. And overall, summary is also not particular good, all top ranking six. So it's better to have Google Search Console. So I will not recommend the content intelligence tool. I will give it a three out of 10. And I'm giving three because they're having some features like sub intelligence, something that you can also see in Google. But yeah, you can leverage that thing, right? And then uh, they're having a rank tracking mechanism that's going pretty well. I will give it a five or six as per their working flow. And they're a little bit slow today. I don't know why. This is my song that you're listening to.
share us in show on spotify so guys so let's see it's taking some time so let me quickly pause this video and come back when they will do uh, when this will be loaded because i don't know okay it's loaded up so i clicked on it so now they are giving me like how much i gained i gained 13 keywords unchanged as zero and these are my average positions wait a minute so i am having this rank distribution so let me go more in depth into these reports right so as you can see i am having this report they are telling me like you have gained this particular rank my page ranking of uh, which page i am ranking on first second first second uh, why i am ranking for second for subsets keyword i don't know why so let's open that lead cut review i am ranking i am ranking on page 1 then i am gaining losing my average positions and everything will be showcased over here so that's much about it then do you having some feature like account setting billing contact support i have some tutorials i uh, one tutorial i that one i want to show you is very cool like if you are someone who want to have some use cases then you can go jump into the use case like they having many good use cases that you can go ahead and leverage for your content optimization so uh, to wrap this up uh, if i would say like b BIQ is a very good tool that you can leverage for your content marketing efforts but currently they are not that much developed but i am expecting future development for them because one year ago i know i got to know about this tool at that time i did not use that this tool that much but uh, to uh, like uh, from that day to today they developed very much and what i am looking for is like they will be keep on developing for next few months as well right so add to that they also i think have a all content up updates inside the appsumo plan so that will be a big win so let me quickly check one that for you for you appsumo.com/biq i don't know why i'm very not serious so as you can see all future appsumo plan updates so in appsumo plan you will get uh, appsumo plan updates so you uh, maybe they have created a special coup plan so i will not go into that like they will offer you updates or not but they have mentioned this over here so that's all for this particular biq review if you like this particular video then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel and you can check out biq by give my affiliate link below that will be sharab.link/biq i will make a small percentage of commission when you buy through it thank you so much for watching and you will see me reviewing another strategy